Nelson Mandela, the man with a vision for South Africa. The story of Nelson Mandela. Author of the story, Nathan Brennan. Nelson Mandela was an icon of South Africa and black rights. In this piece, we will go over his story of setbacks, hope and patience. Introduction. Nelson Mandela was the man who became the first black representative of state in South Africa in the 1990s after decades of serving unwarranted prison time. Alongside being a literal leader for his country, he was a figurehead for the revolutionary changes in South Africa for its racial divisions and issues between blacks and whites in the country. Before Nelson Mandela's father died very early on in his life, leading to him being raised by John Jantaba rather than his family. This was something Mandela would struggle with as part of his phase of upbringing and growing up in early life. Eventually, he would go on to pursue a movement and mentality of black activism and racial equality in South Africa. However, he would become a target due to this activism, despite its innocent nature in the 1950s, being arrested. It was during his court proceedings over the next half-decade that he would divorce his wife, Namzamo, proving to be a hurtful and stressful half-decade for Nelson. Eventually, he would be sentenced to five years of prison time upon returning to South Africa from being underground in 1960, after spending some time learning about guerrilla warfare tactics after abandoning his non-violent message to protests due to the murder of innocent and unarmed black South Africans at Sharpeville in 1960. This was a turning point for Mandela. However, not even by the end of the decade, Mandela would receive a life sentence in prison, even barely escaping being sentenced to death in 1964. However, this would become the moment that would define his life, not end it. Lessons 1. Fight for what you believe in Mandela spent the majority of his life fighting for black and racial equality in his country of South Africa, and seemingly never deterred from that goal of achieving racial equality in the country despite his countless setbacks, especially when receiving the ultimate setback of life imprisonment. He would continue to dedicate his life to racial equality in South Africa, even after being released from prison in 1990, and even after being elected as president of South Africa in 1994. He never gave up on what he believed in, regardless of the consequence of his beliefs and where they would land him on his path to justice. 2. Always search for positivity. When imprisoned for life, Mandela could have easily given up hope and wallowed in his sorrows, and of course on many occasions he would have fallen into that abyss in prison, however he always bounced back with a positive and patient outlook that all would turn out okay. He would use the hope of his family to remain positive from prison, constantly trying to remain an active father, despite his separation from his children. Mandela's biggest assisting tool during his time in prison was hope. The hope of being free, the hope for his country, and the hope of seeing his family again one day were all things that would lead to his immense positivity and patience despite his situation. This was largely one of the contributing factors that got him through the majority of his sentence in prison, and I suppose, when we lose everything, the only thing they cannot take from us is a positive outlook and our hope and that was something Mandela realized and hung on to for as long as he could. Conclusion In conclusion, Nelson Mandela is an icon for humanity, and a life that can and should be learned from as a beacon of hope that one can achieve whatever so long as they do not give in to the world around them. He was a leader and activist for those racial discriminated against and racial slash black equality in a racially unjust world. He was an icon for South Africa and a man who rose from the ashes into the highest seat in his country's land, becoming president.